the game winner by LeBron brought back some memories. Of course, we showed you all those those game winners in the playoffs in the last 10 seconds. We were there on the road um, during the Eastern Conference Finals in 2009 when LeBron did that against the Orlando Magic to save game two and tie the series at a game apiece. And tonight, he gives the... Uh, they will just break shots, man. 3-2 lead. Yeah, that's you, him, Kenny. Mm. Kevin, LeBron bro. James and a 44-point night and a Cleveland win. So tell me what the... I know you guys like to say, look, there's no carryover. Every game is its own entity. There have been so many close games in this series. And Indiana, I'm looking at, in the regular season, games decided by four or less. They were 14-5. and five. Now they're 1-3 and three in the postseason. How do you regroup after this one when you're that close to taking a 3-2 series lead? You know, you're very close. Uh, crucial mistake at the end. In my opinion, you can't let the best player in the world catch a ball and take that type of shot. Everybody in the world, everybody in their living room knew who, the, who was going to catch the ball. But you said to yourself, you know what? I got Victor Oladipo didn't shoot that well. We know he's going to shoot better at home, and we lost on the last second shot. If we play the same way, plus play with a little more intensity at the, at, at the crib and, you know, lower our turnovers, we have a chance. And I think they learned some stuff tonight. They know that Sabonis and Thaddeus Young can score anytime they want to in the post. They, it seems like they have a mismatch down there every single time. Victor's going to get shots. He's got to make shots. But Sabonis and Thaddeus Young scored every single time. Young was eight for nine. And every time they got the ball in the post, they scored. So you can feel good about that if you're Indiana. You think they're coming back for a game seven, Cleveland? You got to grow up quick. Y you know what? You got to – somebody on that team, I'm trying to think on that team, he's got to get them up. And I don't know – uh, what veterans on that team, because they still got a very young team. This one, the veteran got to say, guys, it's all right. They Maybe Lance. Uh, 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 that's a bad example. But he's a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad, bad example. <laughs> but, Ernie, you, you have to say to yourself in that situation, hey, guys, we're good. They did everything they were supposed to do. Now we got to go home and take care of our business. That's the way you look when you're in these series, aren't you? Maybe the guy, the guy with the most playoff experience on that team is Corey Joseph, Joseph. and he's the guy with, yeah. and he's the guy with the ring. Yeah. Well, I, I think overall, you know, you could talk it, but you got to be it. And somebody in those moments, because there comes moments in the game. You could talk pregame speech, you can plain speech, but in the moment, you're going to be down seven with three minutes to go, or you're going to be up five with two minutes to go, and who's going to bring you together then? is a guy who has the experience to kind of know how to get out of that moment. And they have, to, they have to grow up really quick because, as you see, Cleveland Cavaliers didn't panic. LeBron James didn't panic in those moments. He pulled everyone together, not only verbally, but by his play, by what he was doing and making sure people were in the right places. And, and that's what they Yeah, but Erna, I, I'm going to disagree with Kenny because, to me, it was the, the Pacers who didn't panic. Like, when they were down 10, 12 points in the third quarter, they could have packed it in. Like, because uh, I thought, I said, man, this game might get out of hand. So, if, if, if I'm Nate, I'm still like, guys, we were down. I think the biggest lead was, was it 12? Uh, I forget, for, for, the, for the Cavs, on the road in a, in a big game. Biggest lead was 12. And, uh, yeah, I think it was 80 to 68. And they came back and had the lead with 30 seconds, uh, had a chance to win the game with three seconds to go. And they, so, have to have, and they have to have carryover from that. And, you know, you always hear this, this term, Chuck throws around a lot. At home, the next game, you got to have a sense of urgency. Can't come out and play lots of days, going to play smooth. you got to say, you know what, we want to, you know, we want to have a chance for that game seven in Cleveland. And you got to play that way all four quarters. And yes, everybody has to play well. The urgency. others, the superstars, yes. Game one of that series was an 18-point pacer win. The next four games decided by a total of 12 points.